So yeah, about about ten years ago we started the cider company, um, but we've been working as apple farmers since 1888, um, and yeah, selling almost all of our apples goes to go to Woolworths, um, and basically the the ciders, the apples that Woolworths were buying because of sizes too small, too large, wrong colours, yeah, very very minor reasons. Um, we're going to waste, so we started juicing them to, to make cider. Um, yeah, so we've got that in front of you is the bone dry cider, um, and it's it's our it's sort of the, um, so gets the sweetness. Um, you think of that one comes back up a bit, um, but it's I'm just trying. just the yeah, apple juice that sweetens it. Mm. We start with, it's a very similar cider to this that we distill. Yep. Um, basically we want as much alcohol to start with because then we don't have to yep. work too hard to get the alcohol content up. So this is this is a completely unaged white spirit. So it's got the same sort of heat as you'd find in a, in a nip of vodka or, yep. or white rum or, yeah. Um, so mm. give, it a, give it a go like that, but there's also just some soda water if you want to. Do you want to try it? <laughs> no? Just taste. Go on. Just, just put your tongue in it. No worries. It's a very, there's, there's not a huge amount of flavour to it. Um, so it's... <laughs> it's potent, is it? It smells, it smells oh, yeah. more fiery than it tastes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. All right. Or maybe I just drank too much. Nah. Nah. All right. Do you want a video of me doing it then? <laughs> Good. Yep. <laughs> no, it's actually not so too bad. It's funny Good. because it's probably on average around about the three year mark. Yep. Um, and you try? That's not enough. That's not enough. Not enough. Oh, is it? That's only a little wee bit. Um, yeah. So, all, all, all aged here, yeah, um, between two and five years. Yep. Um, all our barrels are French oak um, yep. and have all come from fortified winemakers. So, oh, great. Used to hold port, musket, um, tokay, sherry. That sort of stuff, nice. um, and that's what a lot of the flavours that you're getting from it are. Did are you those try it yet? No. Apple juice we can get. No. Um, so we've just actually made a batch um, that uses a, a cider apple called a Sturmer Pippin, which is a quite sweet, um, like like far sweeter than you've tasted apple yeah. juice before. Yeah, right. um, apple. Can I have um, some water just in case again, please? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's all. Gets, gets mixed with a little bit of the brandy um, and then, then aged in the barrel. Um, mm. It's a really traditional French liqueur. Um, so lots of the farmers around Normandy and Brittany will, oh, that's will make this each, each winter. Mm. Um, that one's nice, you like that one? Yeah, make, make a batch one year, drink that the next year and open the, the batch. Not bad. It's not bad? Not bad. Mm. Yeah. That's nice, no, no, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah, you, you do get, get a lot of that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's literally a, a, apple juice brandy. Yeah. Um, aged in a barrel. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. We actually started doing this again to reduce waste. Um, yeah. All these barrels, after we've made brandy them a few times, start to lose the, the port and yeah. musket flavours that we, we like the, from them. Um, so we, we did this as a way to get some sugars back into the wood and give the give the barrel another another use yeah uh, yeah that's awesome yeah and on top of that yeah you still oh the white the this white is the can, the can. we yeah. actually made a fresh batch at the end of last week which is what's in that thousand thousand liter tank there feel free to stick your stick your nose over and <laughs> have a look see it doing its thing um, I might get up and go have a look. Yeah. I thought that was a No, so that's, that's a thousand litres of wood oh, mode yeah. waiting to. So what will happen is. Oh, it smells good. It smells mm. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, please. So, this, this bottle is straight off that. Um, and so we can have a taste of, of basically this, but without the, um, the year, year in the barrel. Um, and that's doing exactly what this is doing. So the plan is that this will take a couple of weeks. All the sediment, this is not going as well as that one will because yep. I keep shaking this one around. <laughs> um, all the sediment will settle to the bottom and then we'll uh, basically pull the liquid off the top um, so that we get a clear sediment free liquid that looks pretty much Whereabouts are we? Hey, Franklin. Franklin. Hill Valley. <clears throat> wooden boat. This is where they have all the wooden boat festival every year. Yeah. Look at that old ferry. Hence all the wooden boats around here. Yes. Wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to that blue so shed you... up there. That's... Yeah. Or is it this one? one of... Nah, it's the blue shed. They still oh, build that's... them. I'm, I think it's a restaurant, but we're going to go and have a look anyway. Yeah, they still build them here. The kids are over it. Yeah. They don't like doing anything fun. It is the one. The Cartella. Why don't you tell everyone? So this little ferry used to go to Bruni Island. And when we were kids, so what was that back in? 1996, 7, how old were you when you were in grade 7? Grade 7, this is when I first met Adam and him and his mates decided to pinch some alcohol off the boat. You did pinch it, you borrowed it, drank it and um, got themselves quite a little tipsy when they were 13. But 
yeah, this was a school trip um, at Dominic College. And we caught this boat out, this ferry. I can't believe we found, like, after all these years, we've just stumbled across it down in Franklin. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And it's such a nice day today. Like, it's not even cold. Oh, uh, hell no. That water is about minus 10 degrees. <laughs> She's a beauty, though. It's only about 25 years ago. We're not that old. <laughs> You've got to come down this way, it's absolutely stunning. The Hume Valley? Yeah. Yeah. There is a lot to do. We're only showing you snippets because we've only got a few days. The old wine stuff. How cute is that? We've got this little solar panel there. Alright, we're going to head over to this blue building now. So we're at Franklin. We're just at this little um, wooden boat centre. You can do a you can do a um, museum tour and it's $15 an adult. We're not going to do it today. Um, but yeah, they've got like all the old wooden boats and stuff, but even just walking around, you can see so much stuff. It's just, it's truly beautiful down here. And um, yeah, we're lucky we've got a good day. There's no breeze, the sun's out. I mean, it's still cold, but it's not, uh, it's not freezing, you know. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, so that's it there. If you ever come down Glen Hewen and the Hewen View, or this is Franklin, come and check out the Wooden Boat Centre. Okay.